Tonight we are um, honoring two distinguished alumni for the, the Dooley Award, which is for a uh, alumnus or alumna, living or deceased, who has exhibited outstanding service to humankind. So, uh, no, between Marty's introduction and that video, I, I, I only hope that Almighty God will give me the same pat on the back. But I, I want to thank Almighty God for the opportunity, really, to be engaged in this kind of work. I've, I've told people over the years that sometimes I had to pinch myself because I, I just couldn't imagine that I was in the position to be able to serve this way. And I have to say that, you know, I really want you to take home tonight, at least for me, and not so much for Peter, but for me, I'm a professional at this. This is what I'm, quote unquote, paid to do, is to do service, you know, as a, as a priest in the church. That's why you folks put money in the collection basket, is so that we will do this kind of work. So, you know, it's, it's great, it's great to get this award, but let me try to turn it into something that you folks can take back to other alums, uh, as I hope we do every year, and holding up the example of service is so important. And in my case, I, I just make two comments. Um, first of all, I wanna thank uh, uh, Dolly's assistant for uh, giving me a fifth degree because my little placard here says, Father Thomas Streit, 88. I think that's the only year I don't have a degree from 80. <laughs> so I, I gave her the fourth degree and then she gave me the fifth degree. So would you thank her for me? But in any case, degrees notwithstanding, um, you know, again, service is what we as clergy are about. So again, I don't know that I should get this award except to say, let me highlight two points. And one is that being at a university allows our service work and your affiliation with the university, which especially the clubs do in a, in a very unique way, where people, as I've learned now going around, around the country, some clubs have more non-Notre Dame alums than they do Notre Dame alums. Because people want to be part of a movement in the church and without the church in the community, a movement of service. And so that, the university then allows amplification of service. And I would say that um, because the both of the recipients tonight, uh, Dr. Daly and myself, are working in foreign lands. We've amplified that work, that service of Notre Dame beyond Indiana's, of course, beyond even the United States. But I would say that for my part, working at a university where we're exploring the, the most efficient, the cheapest, the, the most effective ways to eradicate disease, that that model then, that what we've done right anyway in Haiti has been adopted in 50 some other countries. We were at the forefront of this campaign to eradicate and so just think about how that amplifies things. The university has the power to amplify the delivery of service in that way. And that's through, through our research apparatus. You know, a lot of people say, what is the research? The research, you know, research for research sake. No, research is bringing, shedding light on God's truth. And then with the power of our special institution here, being able to amplify that truth, God's truth, way, way, way beyond this campus into places that we would never, never expect. And the only other point that I'd like to make tonight is how much what I've been doing is about teaching, of course, as a professor. I enjoy that. I enjoy a captive audience like tonight. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's just teaching in the classroom, teaching as a rector. I've got Chris here. Uh, David McManus is one of the people that that was on the committee that, where are you, David? Back there, all right. He was on the committee and he pointed out that you know both what Dr. Daly and I do is very complimentary because he serves people directly. What I've been doing is exploring ways to prevent people from getting in a bad predicament to start with, health-wise, economically and socially. So teaching people, giving people tools to care for each other and to prevent suffering for each other extends, yeah, from the hall, from the dormitory, uh, and in the classrooms here at Notre Dame, but then so much beyond that. And one of the things I'm most proud of is that when I started in Haiti, there was no government office for what we are doing. They had no capacity and no interest. And now the government office is much stronger. They don't even need me. You know, I, sometimes I'm like feeling left out, but hey, 
That's what it should be. They're now equipped. They have the capacity. They're doing this. They're leading it. And they will carry this on. That's part of the teaching mission of Notre Dame, done in Our Lady's name. Congratulations to all of you because we spread that message around the world. And my last point is, I have a few business cards if anyone wants to visit Haiti. Don't forget, Emil's army is still active. Amen.